Good evening, California seismograph friends. It's been rather quiet in the Southland here in California, but tonight we are looking at two earthquakes. And we'll let this go in real time. It's uh, often sped up by us, just to give you an overview of the whole quake. But since I have some new things to talk about, which is, for example, in the middle of the screen, you'll see our new e-graph in Hyritz, Missouri. And many have seen it and asked questions about it, so I figured I'll talk a little bit about it during this beautiful graph that is being drawn by the Olancha earthquake of 4.0. It came out as a 3.9, but it was upgraded a tenth of a point to a 4.0. Uh, let me uh, tell you about the CNS, which is the most common question in, at the new e-graph in Missouri is set to 7,000, which is indeed rather high. We had it for a while on 5,000 and nothing happened. People thought it wasn't functioning. So we turned it up a little more and it started uh, showing some activity. And most of the activity you're seeing is actually not quakes. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it's in such a remote, nice, quiet area that this e-graph can sit with this very high CNS without actually showing anything rather than human motion or actually, let's say, it's in this case, drier motion. The sensor we buried in the ground and it's probably half a football field away, but since people in the house once in a while use their dryer and the CNS is so high, it ends up showing as a nice little jittery graph. So if you see that coming by in the daytime, then you know there is nothing the matter in Missouri. It's just the family coming home drying their clothes. <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'll put that out there for you so you might know. And hopefully we do see some action on there someday. As a matter of fact, as you look down at the e-graph here with the CNS just at 800, it's picking up just beautifully in a speed twice as fast as we usually have it. it the line speed you can see there is 2.0 rather than 1.0. And it just uh, made a beautiful graph. So did our ink and paper drum on the right top. And you see the overall picture on the very top in the middle there. As you can see left on the top, it shows a 3.9 at uh, 1849 this evening. So we're glad you're here. If you're new to the channel, please uh, give us a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe. That way you'll get uh, the notification bell, our uh, up-to-date information about new earthquakes at any time. Well, this is our first earthquake this evening. Now we'll go and check out quickly on the second one that happened, which came out as a 3.8. I'll go over there right now. It has definitely a clearly a different run-in. The beginning of the first quake clearly showed the quake actually starting to happen. This one has just just a little less of that showing up, but it's also just a smaller earthquake, a slightly smaller earthquake in the same location. And I'll let this run real time for you too, so you'll get a feeling of what it looks like in real time as an earthquake occurs about 200 and no sorry 170 miles away from us so i'll take you there in a second we'll look at the map of where olancha is and it's just also another nice graph that is being drawn here by both the e-graph as well as the seismograph itself on the right top okay let's look at what we have on the distance here i'll minimize this a little bit and we'll look at the latest quakes here there it is Alonja 4.0 absolutely smack down on the right same spot pretty much and that's a 3.8 here's uh, our map let's look at the distance from there by Owens Lake right underneath here it's about 172 miles to Garden Grove it's due north too it's an absolute straight line just about so if you are new or you're not but you have never really visited our site and you're not familiar with the videos we have you can just go and click here on the bottom left then you can hit the videos here and you'll find all our videos here we've got about 100 uh, 
150 plus or so videos now. We appreciate your spending time with us. Have a great evening and a fantastic Sunday tomorrow. I love to have you on our channel anytime. Also, if you enjoy learning about earthquakes, you may find us 24-7 on our California sites. We're going to have live site on YouTube.